Kais heating gloves. The shorty version. Catch you inside. Revelator Al. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're all well in these cold times. Yes, so now uh, I'm going to review uh, for you the Kais heated gloves. These are the G701S shorty gloves uh, for you. Right, let's get into the box, shall we? Ooh, very nice little magnetic lid there. Ooh, 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 look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, so we got gloves. Very nice. And we've got connectors. Lovely. Get rid of that. And a whole blurb on how they all work. Basically, it's a breathable outer shell, wind blocking membrane, carbon fiber heating element, a comfort inner lining. Uh, this is all This is all Kais stuff, basically. Right, okay, so the gloves. Let's have a look. 3M insulate. Uh, there is, it's a breathability test, and it's also, uh, it's got a, got a Hippora glove insert. So, what does that mean? It's breathable and it's waterproof. I can feel a test coming on, don't you? <laughs> right, uh, let's look at this build quality. Knuckle armor, love it. Let's have a look here. Finger, bits of finger armor, nice there. Bit of extra stitch and extra padding on the, on the palm, nice. Lovely material, feel to the material as well. Oh yeah, that zip, I like that zip, look at that. That's that extra waterproofy kind of feeling. Now obviously it's not gonna be waterproof if water gets in there, but these are shorty ones. So let's say if you're riding in the winter, for example, and uh, you don't really wanna have the big bulky gloves going over your sleeve, you can put these under your sleeve. Bish bash bosh, done. Uh, the water may come up the sleeve and drive in driving rain, uh, but at least it won't run off your arm and go into the glove. So it depends which way you wanna play that really. I think these are really cool because actually you, know, you can wear these in a, in a really bitingly cold day, but just have, let's say, your normal riding jacket and you can kind of be cruising around. These are cruisery type uh, gloves, aren't they? A bit shorter. So I like that. Right, let's see if they fit, shall we? Nice little Velcro strap there. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, lovely. Do that, do that. Very nice. Got a lovely feel to them. You know, it's it's almost like, you know, you've got your full dexterity there as well. It's nice, nice sort of feel into it. Yeah, nice little wiper there for you. For your, for your visor. Uh, and this is obviously where you connect uh, these up as well. Right, so you can either connect these directly to the Kais heated jacket, which I showed you uh, previously in, in a previous video, or you can power these standalone. Right, let me show you how. But they send with you a little harness. So there we go, this is the harness. Now basically what you do, you put this one cable each down the sleeves of your motorcycle jacket, let's say, I've already learned from previous experience that you slot your arm through the jacket and you have this coming down the front of your body, okay? Don't have it going down the back of the body because it's a bit cumbersome. Have it coming down the front of your body so that the connector is at your, basically your crotch area, so then you can connect it to the lead uh, that's on your motorcycle quite uh, easily. So one arm each, one arm each, and then you connect that into the gloves there, like that. So basically, that just goes in like that. Right, so that's one, that's the other. Right, how do you power this? So on Kais, uh, apparel.com, obviously you can go through all the accessories. You can power this via battery packet if you wanted to. But also, they've sent me uh, the battery connector uh, for your motorcycle. Now, I won't be connecting mine directly to the battery. I'm gonna be using an accessories manager, that Hex Easy can, so you can watch the videos for that. So big plug to those guys as well. But as I say, so you can either go directly to the battery or via an accessories manager, and you can set the fuse rating accordingly if you're just using the gloves or you're using them in conjunction with any other heated Kais uh, heated garment. Now the gloves are used between 1.2 and 1.6 amps for the pair. Uh, so you, you know you get a, a load of fuses uh, sent with these as well. So do you know what I mean? You can get these fuses anyway. There is a little fuse holder in there as well. There we go, and they've already got a fuse in there for you. And they've got a two amp fuse in there as well. So if you're just using these by themselves, to put a two amp fuse in, absolutely fine. Obviously, if you're using it in conjunction with others, then you have to add up the amperage, uh, whatever it is. So it could be a 10 amp fuse, a 15 amp fuse, whatever it is, that's what you put in there. Right, so there we go. That's it, all out. 
Now I'm just going to put that in there, bish bash bosh. So basically, these gloves heat up by the battery. Uh, hold on. They're cold because there's no power supply. Ah, where do I get a battery from? Aha! Ah <laughs> Trusty battery to the rescue. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a very simple bench test here to see how these are power up and how good they are. Right, positive, positive, negative, negative. Right, everything's connected up. Let's turn these on, shall we? Press the button, go to red. Interestingly, they go to red straight away. That's the highest setting and they're heating up instantaneously or, you know, within a split second, they're heating up and it's really nice, warm, nice, warm heat as well. Let's press it again. And that's the amber. It's amazing. The heat changes virtually instantly. And then green, a lot less heat, but still warm, still warm and toasty. And you press once again and you get red. I like this, that they, they actually turn on in red, the highest setting as well. As I say, these are only pulling 1.2 to 1.6 amps. Your fuse that you should have there is two amps as well. It's already preloaded there for you. But obviously, if you're using these in conjunction with your heated trousers, heated gloves, or a heated jacket as well, then obviously you're going to have to change that fuse rating as well. With the fuses, they've got this little guide here as well of what the fuse rating is and all that kind of stuff. These are really nice, really nice, really nice and toasty. The heat is all over your, your, your hand here. Lovely. And it's the heat is transferring round to the front of your glove as well. It's nice. I like these. I like these a lot. Beautiful. So as I say, you'd have the cabling coming up uh, your sleeve of your jacket and then down here, down the front. Make sure that the connector part here is down the front of your body, as it were, and then you connect, easier to connect. But let's say if it's dark or something like that, you don't want to be faffing around behind you. You just want to have the, the connector on the motorcycle, pick that up, connect it in, bish bash bosh, and it's done. So these are winter weight gloves. Uh, these are, well, I'd say these are waterproof, and uh, well, are they? Are they waterproof? Let's see. I'm sure this outer layer here, it's not going to be repelling the water because that's going to still going to be wet, of course. But it's the liner inside. Will that keep your hands dry? So this is where the heated element will really come in. Yes, your gloves on the outer side will get wet, but the heating element is going to compensate for that cold transfer uh, to you know not only keep your hands warm, but also help to dry this, uh, these out as well. Do you know what? Let's test it. Go on. Go on, Kais. Go on. Let's test it. Right. <laughs> the ultimate test. Let's see. Okay. So, uh, as you know, any kind of glove that I have, I always do a waterproof test. Now, this could be the end of a beautiful relationship between myself and Kais. Uh, but uh, it could also be the best bit of information that you guys could have as well. I'm not bound by anything uh, from Kais at all, so I uh, will tell you exactly what they are. I already feel that these are gonna get wet on the outside, but it's actually on the inside. Right, we're gonna dip these in, just up to the you know, sort of palm area here, something like that. Uh, dip these in for 20 seconds. I'm gonna count them down and see if I actually get wet. Right, let's do that. Please, please, please do not leak. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well, you can see on the outside, it's kind of repelled the water, it appears, doesn't it? On the inside, definitely it's soaked up there. Oh, what can I say? They are waterproof. My hands are dry. Yes, I'm the terrible actor, I know. But look, completely dry. 
the gloves, yeah, they've soaked up a bit of water on the outside. On the on the outside of the glove, yeah, waterproofy, nice, nice. Uh, getting rid of that water. So are they on the outside, that water's going to just fling off. But the inside, obviously, you know, I'm just doing a crazy test here, of course. But look, these gloves. But my hand is completely dry. Sorry, guys, I had to do it. I had to do the test. Anyway, look. Heated gloves, you're going to be seeing me uh, making lots of videos throughout the winter months and really putting these through their paces and giving you that active feedback as well. Uh, but my early impressions here is that you power these simply from the motorcycle. I'm going to be using my Hex EasyCan Accessories Manager to power them as well. I'll, I'll do an install video how to install or add these to a Harley Davidson, let's say, which I ride. Uh, that will be the heated jacket and the gloves one install video for that uh but then look, i'm gonna have great fun with these during the winter i like them because they're not too big and bulky they're perfect they're waterproof definitely heating instant fantastic that's all i can say kais thank you very much motorhouse thank you very much for sending those to me kaisapparel.com go check them out all the literature is there for you uh all the the blurb all the other products the heater jackets the vests the gloves the the trousers uh shoe insoles all that kind of stuff it's all there they've got accessories your know, batteries and cabling and all that kind of good stuff as well uh look they've even sent me a, a din uh, power uh, accessory or plug uh, so if you've got a din outlet you'll know, just use this instead brilliant you know you don't have to even connect it up to a battery just go via the din uh you know there we go uh, easy easy peasy lemon squeezy great product great build quality does what it says on the tin possibly does even more uh there we go what can i say yes it's kais kais all the way heated gloves brilliant keep my hands nice and toasty not too bulky very cruisery style love it but it's good for all weathers obviously right hope you found that useful don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share and check out the website revelatoralf.com kais links in the description below for you as well but here we go. Kais, Kais, Kais.